before you watch this video, please, please watch part one. So it'll make a little bit more sense. I mean, it'll still make sense, but go watch part one. Well, you would Thanks. think the people who are not nice to you would be people your age or even your same like you, you know, because they want to one-up you. Like, I would say people who would want to be rude to me would be women who are my age. That's who I think would want to be rude to me. Nah, it's not that. It's grown men over the age of 55. I made a video about a month or two ago. I didn't release it. I don't even think I posted it, but I have it somewhere on a hard drive of people who have been rude, mean, and called me names. And they're all men over the age of 55. Strange, I know. Why would a grown man want to pick on a girl? The only reason I think a grown man would want to pick on me particularly is they are not jealous but they're just mean in general they're not a nice person they have something going on in their life where somebody has been mean to them probably a female was mean to them maybe their mom maybe a daughter somebody else and they find that they want to be rude to me I don't know why the only good thing is you know I'm not going to confront them. You know, I'm a very nice person, both inside and out, and I don't know why that they would want to be rude, but you get people like that in life. There's always somebody who's got the devil living inside them. And that's why I'm a Christian, you know. If I wasn't, I would probably go over there and just yell and cuss and, you know, go wild and crazy like some people do. But there's no reason to do that. You know, everything works out. Everything turns out all right in your life. And some people, they just don't have any goals. And I have a goal at the end of the tunnel. My goal will succeed. Whether it takes a week, a month, or a year, or 10 years. My goal is going to pass. negative people you know I used to really really get upset and I would internalize everything and I would never let it out you have to let some of your stuff out it's just not healthy to keep everything inside so the way that I talk or deal with negative people is basically what I just said I do not talk to them I do not look at them and I do not communicate with them unless it's otherwise required. So that means if somebody is requiring me, like this, if it's for a job purpose, and that's about it. Yeah. It's just frustrating, especially when somebody says something right when you're there. Yeah. At least this time I did say something back. Usually I don't say anything. Like last week I had some guy pillaging through my golf bag he was looking through it, he grabbed my putter out and starts pretending to putt with it. He looks up, he sees me, he thinks, oh, that's not her clubs, and he keeps putting with it. And I walk over there, I about said, you like my putter, but, you know, I didn't want to make a big scene because I'm trying to be nice. But if that ever happened another time where somebody was just going through my golf bag, touching my grips, because that's getting their germs on my hands. You know, they could have some kind of, I don't know what, a sickness, and then I get sick from them. I get sick easily. Sick, but I'm one, I guess my immune system's a little bit lower. But, yep, that's it. The best way to deal with negative people is to not ever talk to them. So, how to deal with negative people. This can be anyone from someone at your school, to a job situation, or just a real life situation like this one right here where I'm trying to do something nice, I have to spend my own money on the golf course to make it look okay. I don't have time to fix everything because as you know, I've got to play golf because I'm trying to get gotcha, back on tour. And it's just difficult to figure out a balance of how to deal with people. For me especially because I'm an introvert. I don't really like talking or hanging out with people. I don't have really many friends out here, much less 
anywhere else. This was actually going in my About Me video that I was going to do one day, but after uh, college, after I was done with college, I decided I did not want to have any friends. <laughs> Sounds crazy, I know. But I realized, you know, friends are in it for themselves. Whether they're nice to your face, behind your back, whatever, they're in it for themselves. And there's no reason for me to deal with people who are in it for themselves, you know. I'm trying to be a nice person to everybody. Nice to their face and behind their backs. <laughs>